And now, it's time for Deal or No Deal, Government Shutdown Edition, with your host, Howie Mandel. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, players. I'm sorry about that, players. It's me, Steve Harvey. <laughs> yeah, Howie's out sick. You know, he's a germaphobe, but yesterday I was like, oh, come on, Howie, shake one person's hand. And he shook it two hours later, Ebola. <laughs> I'm sorry, you were right, Howie. All right, now, our government's been shut down for like a month, and I spent two hours at TSA yesterday in Atlanta. They thought I was smuggling extra teeth in my mouth. <laughs> so let's bring out the guy who said he would own the shutdown. He's the president, and we both got neckties long enough that they could get caught in a Roomba. <laughs> Please welcome Donald Trump. Hey, Steve, tremendous to be here, just tremendous. Okay, now, earlier today, you went on TV and you told the American people that you want to make a deal. That's right, Steve. All right, so we decided to do this in the only format that you can understand, a TV game show with women holding briefcases. <laughs> All right, now, in your briefcase here, you got the deal that Congress offered you in December. And I said, no deal. Yeah, nobody's excited about that, player. Uh, what was your counteroffer to date? I want five billion from my border wall, and in exchange, I'll extend DACA, and I'll release the kids from cages so they can be free-range kids. <laughs> okay, well, let's see the members of Congress that are willing to offer you new deals so this nonsense can go away. All right, what do you say, Mr. President? Five. You want to open briefcase number five? No, I'm saying a lot of these women are fives. <laughs> On the day of the Women's March. Okay, then I choose... I choose case number three, Fancy Nancy Palooza. Still working on a nickname. That's a great start there, player. Okay, Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi. Nancy, how you feeling tonight? Uh, just... Normal, not like junk on my own power or anything. <laughs> okay. Now, you rejected the president's offer this afternoon. Uh, I'm afraid I did, which is a real shame because I hate saying no to you, Mr. Trump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm scared. Let's just see what's in your briefcase, Nancy. Okay. One billion dollars and you say Nancy's my mommy. Okay. A billion dollars for the border security, that's a lot of money. Yeah, but it's not five billion and I need five billion because that's the first random number I said. No deal. Oh, no. We're still fighting, Mr. Trump. My God, you almost gave me a heart attack. I'm so sorry, Mr. President. If the government's shut down, you can't do the State of the Union. It's for security reasons, not because I'm vindictive or anything. I can't do the State of the Union? Then guess what? You're not flying to Afghanistan. Oh, no. I can't go on my vacation to a war zone? What will I do? Boy, this is like watching... This is like watching two grandparents fight over the thermostat. All right, Nancy, you had your chance. Donnie, let's pick another one, please. I'll take that older Jewish woman on case four. Okay, that's Chuck Schumer. That's okay, that's okay. I'm just happy for any attention, you know. Okay, Chuck, show us your offer. Okay, my offer is whatever you want. No, Chuck, Chuck, we're not doing that anymore. Remember, we're not caving in. Oh, right, right. Yeah, projecting strength, okay. Let me put on my fiery red cheetahs. <laughs> okay, my new offer is $15 and a pastrami on rye, you know. Okay, deal or no deal, Mr. President. And remember, every time you choose no deal, half a million federal employees work another day without getting paid. Uh, cool story, bro, no deal. <laughs> oh, man. Well, speaking of getting paid, I need to thank our sponsors tonight. Green beef. 
Yeah, it shouldn't be green, but ain't nobody at the FDA to inspect it. <laughs> and old lady in an inner tube way out in the ocean. Yeah, the Coast Guard will be back soon. Hang in there, Beth. <laughs> All right, let's pick again, player. They sure will, player. Hey, hey, it don't work both ways. I ain't Kanye. <laughs> I'll go with case nine, Steve. Okay, that's Playboy Mitch McConnell. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, 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 no, Mitch. You can't just disappear in the middle of this. Come on out of there. Poke your head back out of that shell. We got a nice, juicy little piece of lettuce for you. <laughs> oh. Well, he's not gonna be much help, Mr. President. I gotta ask you. Who are you playing for tonight? I'm playing for a little charity called Habitat for Hannity. <laughs> it, helps, it helps Sean Hannity get a second beach house. Oh, man, let's just pick another number. Let's go with five, Steve. Okay, that's Congresswoman Maxine Waters. As I've said many times before, Maxine is a very low IQ person. Hmm. Uh-huh. Well, just a reminder, I can now subpoena your tax returns whenever I want. Like I said, she's a genius, beautiful, a true visionary. Yeah, that's what I thought, mother. Fun time, so far. <laughs> All right, why don't you choose again? OK, who's on case eight? Is that Cardi B? Uh, no play. <laughs> that's Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. <laughs> Trump and the GOP are just terrified of me because I'm under 100 and I know how to use Instagram. I mean, just look at Mitch McConnell. He's already bird boxing. I can hear the girl. <laughs> Stay away. All right, you know what? Why don't we just open three cases real quick and get this over with? Cory Booker. Booker 2020. Oh my God, not another one. <laughs> Congressman Steve King from Iowa. Whites. <laughs> well, at least the guy's consistent. All right, wait a second. This time it is Cardi B. I know this ain't my business, but money. <laughs> okay, you know what? This government gonna be shut down for like a year. Let's take a quick break. No, wait. I want to open that case from the Clemson football player. Okay, that's not a briefcase. That is a Crave case from White Castle. Well, I'd still like to have him open it, Steve. Oh my God. Okay, fine. Open the case, please. Hamburgers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Steve, I haven't eaten a hamburger in almost 15 minutes. I'm going to make that deal. Wait, you ending the shutdown for a hamburger? Well, I guess that makes as much sense as anything else that's going on these days. And live from New York, it's <laughs>